Hello, hello, and welcome to another updated video about XRP. While XRP is, um, yeah, in a very, very interesting mode here, climbing higher, forming triangles all the time. I really only want to focus on the shorter time frame. Later today, we can take a look at the bigger picture, the daily time frame again. In this video, really, I just want to focus on the shorter time frame. We had some really good setups here recently. Just to show you the context, because something like that could happen here again. Now, of course, the higher we climb, you know, you could say the higher the risk, because the market is getting more and more overheated. And we have now arrived at 273, which is uh, crazy considering where we started, which was down here where the price actually bottomed in our support zone, uh, which I have taken off the chart because we don't need it anymore. But it was around 50 cents. Um, we're now at 273 and it's done that in a very short period of time after moving sideways for a year pretty much and um, yeah we've been grinding higher here broke above the, the price broke above that critical $1.96 to $2 mark we had a triangle here an internal wave 4 wave 4s often play tri um, form triangles then we rallied higher another triangle which was the triangle before the breakout and then like a just a contracting triangle then we saw another rally that was yesterday the price dipped into our support region it was a three wave pullback um, again here based on the price action i provided a fibonacci support zone which did hold originally i thought it might it might have been a wave four which which it could be but it might have just been a wave two actually so quite lucky that it actually didn't go much lower because um Otherwise, it would have bro broken. Normally, a wave two could could easily break below the 50% FIB level. But then again, in a bullish market, not so frequently. This again could be another wave four triangle internally. And the reason for me to you know make this video is just to highlight. I mean, just this is literally just the micro, right? But we are again in a possible triangle. And after so many upside breakouts and reactions to Fibonacci support levels, do we get another breakout to the upside? I mean, just something to watch for. I posted that earlier today on Discord already. Uh, it's just something to watch for. We have also here three Fibonacci levels to watch, um, 252, 260, and 270. The price obviously is still holding above all of these. We're moving in a triangle and a break above the trend line could indicate the next attempt to move higher. I mean. Where could we go? Well, I did tell you we maybe just want to take a look at the shorter time frame, but actually, based on the overall larger time frame Fibonacci levels, we could calculate the next target. Or actually, we just take a look at the chart. What is the next upside level to watch? 325. I mean, will we get there? Maybe. We don't have to. The price already in this third wave has done what it needs to do. Um, someone asked me in the last um, video what happened with my with my XRP target. Um, so just to, to mention again, XRP target, I mean, it's a projection, yeah, but it's based on the AB structure here the, from the fourth wave low in March 2020. A, B, and a C wave would typically reach the 100% extension. So $5 is a reasonable projection, but I thought I mentioned in the last video. And then we have $9.81 as the next one above. This is the, f the area I would focus on. I mean, not necessarily directly in a third wave, but if the price can hold a higher low in this wave four down there, then we can watch for a fifth wave to complete all of this and put a larger top in place. The main support area here on the chart is between $1.12 and 185. Um, but the main reason for the video was to highlight, okay, we might see another breakout. I mean, not guaranteed. Okay, nothing is ever guaranteed, but market is still following the micro patterns here. Uh, but on the micro level, I have to say as well, it's very difficult to interpret what this is. I mean, I'm genuinely also surprised that so many of these actually um, followed the, the patterns and support levels held and the triangles broke out in into the correct way, you know, direction. I mean, we're now at a point where, I mean, I would be surprised if this breaks to the downside at all, but uh, it's worth to give it another go, right? From a, from a, from a, from an Elliott wave setup point of view. So if this really is a triangle, you know, it might break out soon because there isn't much more room in this triangle. And if we break to the downside, 252 is micro support and any break below 252 will be an early indication that a larger top has already formed in, uh, 
in the larger third wave. And then I just gave you the key support for that on the larger time frame. So that's just a quick update about XRP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. And if you are interested in the membership, maybe consider to check out this video on our channel page, which explains the membership tiers and so on. For example, as a YouTube supporter member, you get access to weekly live streams as well as member only updates. Yesterday I published QNT Uniswap, the day before Rune, Worldcoin, Algo and so on. As a gold member, you can access Discord actually, and you get access to a lot of additional content, additional setups, updates. Uh, chat room access, trading view, live chart links, and much more. So yeah, have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.